Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Hayes and today I got done with my PVE testing for 7.1.5 trying to figure out of course single target and of course mythic plus DPS. Now I figured out both of them at this point guys. So it's who we are, it's what we do, we've come so far and now we pay the price so don't even So what we're going to go ahead and do is talk about specking. Now here's the crazy thing, when it comes to Mythic plus DPS, you're going to be rocking Frost Scythe. When it comes to single target DPSs and raiding, you're definitely going to be rocking Gathering Storms. Now the difference between Gathering Storms and uh, Frost Scythe is about 100k DPS um, consistency inside dungeons, which is still quite a bit. But the crazy thing I found about Frost Scythe is of course it's going to increase your consistency by quite a lot since the Mythic Pluses you're going to be chain pulling. Now what I did with this, guys, is I'll kind of show you exactly here on the DPS meter um, what was going on in this last dungeon. Now that was actually the last boss fight. I'm going to change that to current fight. No, not a current fight. Overall fight. Now, as you see, my overall DPS for this dungeon was 737k. That was without flask, without food buff, and not using any potions at all. If I would have used flask food buff, potions, I could have been 900k plus consistency or even a million DPS consistency through this entire dungeon, which is absolutely insane DPS for a Frost DK to be doing all the way through the dungeon. Now I'll show you the previous fights before that. Um, okay, the boss fight, that was a million DPS. Before that, it was 700k DPS. Before that, it was 650k DPS. Before that, it was 878k DPS. So as you can see, if we are just doing some crazy AoE DPS with this spec right here. And I wanted to kind of show you guys the actual logs from that. And of course, the overall data from the entire dungeon doing almost 50% damage. And uh, over 737k the whole entire fight. Now I want to show you guys what I did to go about doing such like insane crazy damage. Um, so what I had to do was I went ahead and modified the breath macro that I originally used, of course, for Obliterate to, uh, of course, do Remorseless Winter. But instead of uh, casting Obliterates, I have it casting Frost Scythe for more AoE damage, which I repeatedly use throughout the dungeon to pop cooldowns whenever I have them and absolutely blow everything up. Like, if you pop Breath and, of course, spamming Frost Scythe uh, with Remorseless Winter proc all at the same time, it just deals an insane amount of AoE DPS, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Now, the key to this is, of course, you got to get some runic power. Now, when it comes to PvE DPS, if you're just running it on some trash mobs, you want to do some instant damage. What I suggest is running it on the mob, hitting like a Howling Blast, hitting Remorseless Winter, and then going into some Frost Sites until you have some runic power. And then, of course, you're going to pop your, pop your breath and deal an insane amount of damage with your cooldowns proc, because once you're cooldowns proc you're going to be throwing up avalanche is going to be hitting all the targets in front of you you're going to be throwing breath up that's hitting all the targets in front of you and of course everything's going to hit a lot harder now if you're coming in on something with cooldowns like an aoe situation um what you're going to have to do when you're going to pop cooldowns of course is basically just come in and pop that macro and you're going to start aoeing and of course remorseless winter is going to be thrown up and uh, hopefully your uh little cleave there is going to go off too and you're going to be dealing some really sick aoe dps as you can see there i got to change it to current fight and uh, we're dealing about 900k aoe right now over a million aoe dps and we uh, did not proc our dragons at all now the cool thing about this spec as i didn't even apply my diseases like we could have been doing like 1.2 million with the uh, froth side spec compared to the other one is you deal a lot better consistency dps as you can see being able to spam this frost scythe is actually helping my dps stay up quite a bit when it comes to of course mythic plus dungeons and it's it really makes it a lot easier to clear through the dungeons even though we got a big hefty buff to that remorseless winter aoe or no gathering storms aoe um it definitely seems like still running with frost scythe or running breath spec with that nice breath spec is going to be the best way to go for mythic pluses but for definitely for single target that gathering storms and for pvp you're going to be rocking that so i wanted to give you guys an update on kind of this talent for that mythic plus dungeon dps now if i was rocking of course potions and stuff like i said i would just be ripping up some dps right now with this spec just utterly destroying the meters in some kind of dungeon and of course as we are being rune starved we have um 
frozen pulse proccing. Of course, we blew a little bit of minor cooldowns there, which caused our DPS to peak up quite a bit more because, of course, we have a uh, a, a bit higher um, a bit higher highs with uh, these cooldowns being blown than we did, of course, with the consistency spec before. Now, holding 700k AOE with the consistency spec uh, before the patch was pretty uh, unheard of. You, you definitely drop. But, of course, with the nice little buffs going on now, we're definitely able to do that um, using these abilities, which ends up being pretty nice. Um, but yeah, guys, wanted to go ahead and update you on that. So we kind of have a for sure thing going on with the PVE DPS going on with Frost DKs. Because I still said in that last video we did that I needed to do further testing on them. And uh, I've definitely came to some some conclusions uh, based upon some of the Mythic Pluses I've done uh, earlier today. Now I'm going to go ahead and step into some PV, uh, PvP and see what I can gather from there. I'm, I'm expecting some sick DPS. Like I'm even thinking about using Frozen Pulse uh, with Gathering Storms in PvP using, of course, this burst spec. Um, is really ending up being my favorite when it comes to DPS. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you enjoyed this little informational guide on how to deal with some sick, crazy AoE DPS using Frost Scythe and Gathering Storms. Uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below, or, you know, again, just hit that like button. And until next time, this was your boy Hazed. At the edge of the hellfire.